All right, everyone, time to bat them up. Welcome to Hitting the Cycle. We discuss all the hottest news in Major League Baseball. I'm John Pasolamanca. This is Ed Molina. And Ed, who's on first? Jesse Puig. Ah. <laughs> uh, he's having a monster year right now, mm -hmm. it seems like. Uh, I, I, you know, everyone talks about does he deserve, quote unquote, deserve. I just feel like grown adults should never use the word fair or deserve. Mm -hmm. Life ain't fair. No one deserves anything. He'll get voted in, though. Uh, the, it's, it's by the fans. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about the All-Star game. Deserve really has nothing to do with it. It's a popularity contest. He'll be fine. Well, I mean, in fairness, he's not putting up exactly, you know, Pee Wee League stats either. He's got a 320 batting average, uh, something like uh, 40, 40 RBIs right now. He's, uh, if it, he, the stats say, I'm an All-Star. Right. So who's our second? Uh, on second, we got Jimmy Rollins of the Philadelphia Phillies, who just recently uh, made some interesting comments that he's uh, now open to being traded after recently saying that uh, he wasn't interested at all. What do you think? Is he going to move? I think if you're the Philadelphia Phillies, you have to move him. Mm -hmm. um, the guy's making 11 mil this year. He's going to make 11 mil next year. Um, I don't know where he goes. That's the problem. It's yeah. a lot of money for an aging player whose skills are declining. It is, but you know, when the playoffs are starting to roll around, I think around uh, there are going to be certain teams who are going to want a guy with his pedigree and with his, you know, what, what he what he could do in the off season. So I'm sure that they'll find the taker somewhere. I, I think the only way this happens is if Philadelphia eats a part of the contract. It's just the way the business of baseball works. Especially, I think that opens up more teams, more avenues, maybe some of the smaller market teams that are looking to compete. So. All right, so now who's on third? Kansas City Royals, oh. who have the most awesome stadium that no one ever <laughs> talks about with the fountain in the back. I think that's cool. Uh, they um, a, they're a pretty awesome win streak now, seven games. Seven uh, games so. in a row. And the thing is, it's I, I, last year they were on the cusp of making the playoffs. It was just a tight um, AL Central. Mm -hmm. um, you had a lot of teams jostling for position for that last wild card spot. I thought that they would drop off, and here they are again on a seven game winning streak not showing a drop off might have to watch out for him and yet another al central race that's pretty tight right so who's on home well we got my uh, beloved new york yankees oh, who uh <laughs> sorry he's uh, ed's from queens here so uh, <laughs> uh Brooklyn, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they're on a recently on a four game win streak they were showing some momentum before a weekend loss so um now here's the question with uh they were now that they've been building a little bit of momentum though do they make a trade before the deadline um, I mean, they print money. They can afford it. Uh, it's not a problem. I, I, where are the holes? It's, it's, and that's the thing. It's, they have the ability to fill in holes mm -hmm. to make that playoff run. I think that right now, if you're in the Yankees, you got to start with starting pitching. I would be knocking on the Chicago Cubs door and trying to get that Jeff Samerja guy. I mean, the, yeah, as, as far as starting pitchers go, he, he's, the, the rumors have been there. Um, you, as, uh, in terms of arms, you don't get much better than this guy. So see, but can you wait till the end of the season and go get Price from Tampa Bay? I mean, he's a free agent. Mm -hmm. He's going to be out there in the market. I don't think they'll trade within division. They, the Mar I mean, sorry, the, the Rays, but well, they could wait till the end of the season. But the problem is that uh, by that point, Derek Jeter is going to be retired, and the Yankees are of the mentality of winning now. I think they want to send their captain home on a uh, winning note this time around. So I think that they, the time the time is not a pull off a trade. But when do they rebuild? Like, that's kind of the thing. It's like, all right, last year was Mariano, his hooray. This year it's Jeter. When do they rebuild? And that's kind of a thing with the Yankees. They do trade, go trade for youth, in my opinion. I would go trade for youth. Oh, it should be interesting to see what happens. And that wraps up this edition of Hitting the Cycle. Remember to tune in next week for more. And to continue the conversation, remember to log on to LatinPost.com.